Going her feet in the air, still all you catch that ball. Feet are down before you catch it, you're ready to rip it. Okay? Yeah, yeah, good. You felt it? Good. We're up again. Hop, boom. Good. You're ready to rip it. Maybe a little less. You're trying to reach really far back with that left foot. Okay? Or on the side. Right? Okay? You're going to face the corner. Okay? Try again. Boom. Oh, that's pretty good. Here we go. Ready? Boom. Oh, good. Here we go. Facing the basket. And remember, we'll face that corner. Drop. Spread. Good. Drop. Spread your feet. Spread your feet a little wider. Remember, we want to make it like we're already taking that step. So this foot explodes out, and now I can go through and go. Okay? Good. Boom. That's better. Good. Boom. Good. Boom. Nice shot. All right, switch. Okay, now we'll go to the same thing here. We're going to catch here. We're going to get our feet down. We're going to rip. One, two, three, just like we did before. Here we go. And the split states. Catch. Rip. Boom. Okay, now don't pause on the rip. It's almost like you're ripping through the catch. So you catch it, boom, and it's gone right away. Okay? Rip it up. Here we go. Rip. Boom. Good. Now stop. Don't move. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Don't move after you. Okay? Boom. Okay, stop. Don't move. Where are you going? You want to go there? Is that where you want to go? Hell no. All right, get that foot to the left. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. That's better. Keep that right foot. Uh, yeah, right foot down. Here we go. One more. Boom. Nice shot. Here we go. Boom. Good. Keep that right foot down. Launch. Back. Turn that body a little bit more. Remember, it's here, and it's just drop. Okay? Don't worry about it going up. That's just slowing you down. Drop your butt, be ready to rip. Okay? Drop. Boom. That's better. Good. Rip through the catch one more time. Don't pause. Rip. Feel that little pause. All right, you catch it. And then go. Try and make it happen simultaneously. Do one more. Boom. Good. Okay. Now, so earlier today we went through all of our advantage actions, right? We're driving the baseline and making our reach. Okay? Now. I'm okay with my guys looking off defenders at times, but more often than not, all right, we want them driving, eyes to the rim. Okay, because if I can see the rim, now I can see the rest. Now, am I gonna keep my eyes on the rim the whole time? No, okay? But there's something, there's a term we use in this, or I use, okay, that I call, we train or we work for slippage, right? So we understand that in a game situation as we rep this out, this might slip a little bit, okay? or we might not get our eyes all the way in that rim. So we're going to lock in on those things a little exaggerated, all right, so that when we get in that game, when we change it, we remember to get those eyes back up so we can read the defense and see on the floor, okay? So right now, you're going to catch that split stance. We're going to drive down to that baseline corner again. You're here, boom, we're going to rip, and your eyes are going to be on the rim all the way through the catch, okay? Or I'm sorry, all the way through the stop. Here we go. Rip. Good. Here we go. Really rip through. Okay, so we're here. And you're going to rip it low. And we're going to get through. And I want that left shoulder bending through a little bit. It's almost like we're twisting into that rip. Okay? Here we go. Boom. Drop that butt a little. Good. Boom. Good. One more. Boom. Go. Go. Good. Okay, uh, in the interest of time here, we're going to skip a couple things. So then we, uh, what I would have done here is get into our shot, our dig down again, and then I would have done our same foot stop. I really like same foot stops for guys going to the baseline because we have a lot of situations where defenders start to turn and run and try and beat you that block. Okay, I also like the strong uh, same foot stop going to the strong hand for the same reasons we were talking about earlier. When you go to a normal step back, going to your strong, it's hard to get those hits around for most kids who shoot with their feet at 11 o'clock as a righty or 1 o'clock as a lefty. Okay? So we want to be thinking rip downhill, and you, uh, yeah, we would like that same foot stop because it allows us to get those hits back on balance a lot easier. Um, we will do one more here. Okay? So we thought, all right, we're going to catch and rip and go. Okay? We're going to catch and rip. And thank God that defender overran me. So I'm going to same foot stop, dragging that back foot here. Boom. Let me get into my shot. There's obviously other options. The last one we're going to work on, maybe you made the wrong decision. So we catch here. Boom. 
when we kind of start to go, then we're just going to step back up into a three. Okay? So again, this is training for slippers a little bit because we're naturally kind of here, right? And then we're going to step back. But if you spread those feet, it can just be a twist into a shot. Okay? So right now, you're just here. We're going to twist and get back up into a shot. Okay? Remember, you're going to reach with that right foot and then step in on that. Okay? Good. Now, on a jab or a twist. Now, this isn't a jab. Okay, I don't want it to be a foot jab right now necessarily. It might be, right? But we don't want it to be. But in a jab or a twist, we got to use a lot of things to sell. Okay? You already talked about getting that left shoulder through or that right shoulder through and bringing it down. I love it. So we want to change that angles. Uh, I'm sorry, levels. Okay? Parts of our body. When you jab, when you fake, or you twist, we're going to use, again, in a jab your foot. Not in this one, but from there, you're going to use your eyes. You're going to use the ball, and you're going to use your shoulders, right? So feet, ball, eyes, shoulders, all sell up here, and I'm going to step back into it, okay? So really sell. you got to make him think you're going, because you should be thinking, I'm going to go, right? And then you just pull it. Here we go. Split. Boom. Okay, that was a jab. Try to get those feet down before you catch it still, and then step back to it. Boom. Not bad there. Good. All right. Again, remember we're trying to keep those feet down before you catch it, and then we just step. It's one step, not one, two. Okay? It's one step. Okay? Here we go. That's pretty good. Oh, ah. Here we go. Here we go. So, go back. Go back. Go back. So, in this situation, when somebody's struggling like that a little bit, okay, now we'll just go back to catch it. Right? Here. Catch. Get those feet down before you catch it. Okay? Not doing anything else. Feet down before you catch it. Good. Feet down before you catch it. Nice. And pump. Good. All right. Now let's try and do that. Step back to your three. Okay. Move that left foot. Move that left foot. Remember, you're here. Spread. Okay? Here. Spread. All right. Here we go. All right. Fake it still. Sell that fake still. Here we go. Ball, shoulders. And eyes, sell this fake. Eyes. Okay, so this is the time where I don't need your eyes in the room. Okay? You're trying to sell your own there. Eyes to the corner, shoulders to the corner, ball to the short corner. Big chest, boom. Good. That's better. That's better. One more. One more. Ah, get those feet down. Get those feet down. Here we go. Feet down. Boom. Good. Nice shot. Okay. Now, again, for every action, we need a counter, right? So now we'll go, so the first one we call the split stance rip. This one I would call a split stance twist. So now we're going to work on what we just did, but instead of stepping back to the shot, we're going to get ready to break down and get down there, okay? We're going to go to a lunge first, and we're going to edit it a little bit, okay? So I want you to get back downhill here, boom, right here first, okay? So I'm here, go ahead, now. This situation happens a ton. We talked about it a little bit last night in our uh, defensive session, okay? Where I close out, he's sliding, and I'm not looking, so I'm staring at the ball. Go ahead and slide a little bit. And I get out here, and I'm below this top foot, right? You saw it happen, I don't know, 100 times uh, past this uh, session earlier, right? Where they're coming across. Okay, you, got, you saw guys get over this bottom foot, Tons of times, and then have to do that open up little lay action that he was hating on. Okay, and every coach hates. All right, so now we're working on beating that action as efficiently as possible. All right, so you're up. Okay, again, you're gonna twist, pull, and lunge. All right, and we'll go that one, two, three. Okay, here we go. Twist, lunge. All right, your feet down. Here we go. Feet down before you catch it. Pull. Pull your feet down. And bring it together. Remember, you're here, just split. Just split and drop. Okay? Don't come up. Just drop and split. Here we go. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Here we go. One more. One more. Feet down together. That's the one. Good. Notice the, the biggest change there was that he was sliding across. He kind of brought this left foot with him. Okay? The reason I like the split stance, just to back up a little, is for this middle drop. Okay? Uh, we touched on it a little bit in the corner before. Especially in the States, our kids love to catch it here and drag and then come back to the middle. Or catch it here, 
go home and let this foot pop up before they come back to the middle. This is working to combat that and get us away from that started turnover. Got it? Here we go. Good, good. Of went into our actually no. The other option here, especially for a great shooter, okay, is to get back uphill like these guys wanted to do before. Okay? So I'm sliding out and that defender gets behind me. I'm gonna twist and I can just get right back uphill and get to my three if I can shoot. If I can't shoot, well it doesn't really matter. Okay, but we're here, twist, and we can come right back through cross step and get into that three. You guys want to rep that? Good answer. Yeah, ready? Oh, twist, uphill, get on bounce. Good, good. Split stance. So Split stance, twist. Okay, guys, remember, we're not going left and right here. We're here. We're just catching. We're not really moving here. Right now, we're just working on boom, twisting it back. Okay? Here we go. Just the feet. All right. Get on bounce. Get on bounce. Here we go. Drop your butt. Use your eyes. Sell that drop. Sell that drop. Oh. Oh. Good. Nice shot. Okay? Now. Okay, so again, uh, we talked a few things before. I said I changed the finishing a little bit. Alright, this is where we didn't work on any of the middle finishes. Okay? So when I'm driving in the middle, obviously my first thought is get to the rim. Okay? When I'm driving either direction, I want my guys to be able to do, my players, to be able to do three things. All right? If I'm uh, scoring guys, I want to be able to go score at the rim with different options. I want to be ready to be able to get into a pull up here, and then I want to be ready to change direction. Okay? If your players can do those three things, they're going to be a hell of a lot farther ahead than most players. Get to the rim and finish, shoot it in off the bounce simply, right, and change direction, okay? So for right now, you guys are gonna get to one foot in the paint, you're gonna change direction, and you're gonna go finish. Okay, so you're gonna go twist, bang, get back to the middle, get to the paint, I just wanna see how you naturally change direction, and then you go finish how you want, okay? So let's still go to the twist, let's start again, right on the TV, okay? Hover, right over this. So now you know if I catch it, boom. All right, if I'm not still here, then you here we go. Twist. Oh, he touched it off. All right. Crossover's a little tough there. All right, expose the defender. Here we go. And hey, what are you trying to get before you change direction? <coughs> Into the lane, right? Into the paint, okay? You change direction up here, so I never would have really worried about your drive, okay? Remember that initial driving angle, right? That initial driving angle to the rim, boom. Now I change direction and I go. Okay, my eye doesn't suck there, but we want to work on that, getting into the paint, working on that angle. Here we go. Ah, ah, ah. We're walking into it. No, you're facing the basket. Right, as I slide out, it's very easy to, uh, we talked about closing out with our toes facing the three-point line. Right, same thing on the slide. If I'm sliding, I can just follow that arc so that I can catch you or so that I can get to you. Okay? So I want your feet at the rim, and then again, you're going to turn towards the elbow a little bit. Alright? Here we go. Twist. Alright. Here we go. Get to the paint. Get to the paint. Attack. Right to me. Okay? Good. Right to me. Right to me. Come. Hey. Good. Alright. Quickly, this action right here, this change of direction, is a ball handling drill that I would do, okay? I get a lot of questions about ball handling drills, what should we do, with it, whatever, okay? I'm gonna break down our actions and we're just gonna use this as a ball handling drill, right? So I don't have my guys usually start here. Uh, you guys can get a quick drink if you want. Okay, starting here, like they've already changed direction, and go work on a finish, whatever one we wanna work on, okay? Then I would have us coming back and working on uh, actually, we would be here, and we would work on popping and going. Now, when you change direction with that between the legs, there's two different footwork patterns you can have. Okay? It can either be a quick hop and go, so where both feet leave the floor, you're turning in the air, so basically what they've been doing, here, here, that's a good quick option. If, 
Let's say you're thinking you get in, you want to get into your dig down jumper here, and late you recognize that he's going to cut you off. Now we want to be able to brace back with that left foot, throw it towards half court, and we come. So it becomes more of a hesitation action than a quick change of direction. Okay? So the first one I'd be here, back click, and I'm gone. Okay? The second one I would slow down a little bit, again, get eyes to the rim, and then I would come back through. Okay? So just a little shift on how you change direction there and what you're trying to do. First one, you beat him, doesn't matter, he's out of position. Second one, you just don't like what you got, so we're going to try and slow him down before we come. Okay? We're not going to do that right now, but that would be the type of ball handling drill that I would have my players do. Rep out that exact option we want to do in a bunch of different situations, add defense, add some contact, and then we play it live. Okay? Make sure I didn't miss anything. Next, I got a few minutes here. Okay. Next thing. Now, you're going to catch it. You're going to start here. Okay? I'm going to flip it to you between my legs. If I jump here, what are you going to do? You think? Rip it go, right? Okay? If I jump to your inside, go ahead. Oh, then we'll twist and we'll go back. Okay, so again, just a simple way to rep, rep out making that decision before we actually go live into the action. Alright? So, again, I want you to catch it in your split stance. So I want you here, no matter what, you're here and you're either ripping or you're here and you're twisting. Okay, again, um, talked a little bit before about being decisive. He's going to make the wrong read. Okay, you're going to make the wrong read. It's going to happen. Right? 100%. You're going to make the wrong read. How do you respond to that wrong read? How do you react? How do you make it better? How do you fix it? Okay? So, if you make the wrong read, don't just stop. You know your counters, right? We just talked about three of them. Okay? Get to the right. I'm sorry. We just worked on here, here. Right? We worked on a little bit of change direction. Uh, you might not have been here driving baseline. I love that settle spin option. Right? And if you don't make the right read, then make it count. Does that make sense? You good? Okay. We're all right. Come on. Good. All right. Twist. Twist on that. Remember, your first thought is that you're going to rip baseline. Right? Because that defender is closing out here, okay? And he's probably on that high side. So your first thought is to rip baseline, and you come back if you have to. All right? Good. All right. Do that. What's up? Drop that butt. Get up. Good, good. Here we go. Hold on. All right, not bad. Good, good. Here we go. Yes, nice job. A little bit of a jab there, but again, that's why we're training for that slippage. All right. Good. Quick decision. Quick decision. Good. Good shot. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Nice job. Good read. I, I, nice job. That's all right. Good read. Good. Ah, here we go. Okay, good. Uh, let me set that ball down. All right, last thing. So I said at the beginning that everything we do is going to work towards the end, right? We have the end in mind when we begin. So now we're going to work on driving kick situations, okay? So when we're about to play defense, sorry, or when we're working.